Laura Delaney here for Orti 10 and I'm in the beautiful Ivy Gardens and can you believe it, it's not raining for once. I'm about to chat to Roy 7 frontman Paul Walsh, the lovely Sheila Shoga and celebrity chef Donald Skeeton about the O2 Think Big campaign. Check this out. I'm an ambassador for Think Big, the youth mental health initiative, so we have a photo call today, myself, Donald Skeeton and Sheila Shoga as well, so it's a a lot of fun, the most interesting photo shoot I've ever done because we're on a trampoline. It's a great initiative, it encourages uh, young people to express themselves, gives them an outlet to do that and it fosters a sense of community between them as well. So it's a, it's a wonderful initiative and it's been going since 2010 and I think already 3,000 young people have benefited from it so right. it's nice to be involved. Basically it's an amazing, really positive initiative about getting young people thinking about themselves, about what matters to them. There was a brilliant survey carried out where they spoke to young people about who inspired them, I suppose. And interestingly, a lot of the findings found that a lot of their own friends and family were their biggest inspirations, which is a really good thing to hear. Feelings are transient. They come and go, and to be able to objectify that is a wonderful coping strategy. It's a wonderful gift. So find out whatever it is that allows you to express your feelings, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, be able to articulate those feelings uh, and, and take control. It's all about inspiring young people to do what they want. Was there anything in particular that got you involved in this project? Well, I think it's all about encouraging. I mean, this sort of stuff I started with, you know, I, I, my, my world, food world, started from a food blog, you know, and if I hadn't got the encouragement from other people to say, you know, you're doing good and, and keep going with what you're doing, you know, I wouldn't continue doing what I'm doing. So it is about inspiring people and, and really kind of looking towards get greater things, you know. And Tommy, who inspires yourself? Different people, but for me, certainly, um, particularly in the past number of years, I mean, obviously my friends and my family, but I have a core group of really good female friends, including my own sister, Gráinne, as well. And I just think women are amazing. And I am just proud to have a very, a very solid, fun, confident bunch of women who have experienced life and know how to live it and know how to appreciate good moments. The person that inspires me in terms of the food world has to be Jamie Oliver. Who inspires me? Um, I think when I was growing up, when I was their age, probably musicians like Jim Morrison, uh, Pearl Jam, Nirvana, those sorts of bands I really liked. And tell us, how's the band? How's the rest of the lads in Ray 7? The band, the band is good, the lads are still as smelly as they always were and uh, we're working on album three. So that's going to take up our summer. We have some gigs coming up in the summer in Ireland, uh, but primarily we're working on the third record. So any exciting future projects coming up that we should know about? Yes, lots of exciting things this summer. Um, my new series of Kitchen Hero starts back on RT1 on June 11th, so very excited about that. We've been travelling around the country in a Citroen H van and um, going to lots of food festivals. So very excited for that to finally go out. And um, yes, we're, we've just launched a food magazine, so that's going to be going out uh, this week. And then next uh, during the summer, I'll be shooting for the next issue of that as well. So it's all very exciting. Is it true that you're now a student? You've gone to UCD? Yeah, I just finished second year in UCD. Congratulations. One more years ago. Yeah, thanks. Uh, it's going well. I really like it. Studying English and history, so getting ready to work in McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> if you are optimistic and positive, you will probably breathe more of that into your life. Now, I, I think that is a, an interesting area as well where you know you can't be happy all the time sometimes life is difficult and you need to acknowledge where you're at